Hi everybody. Today is somewhat of a special day. A good day and a kind of sad day all at the same time. And today I am trading in this kit. So this kit has been very awesome, very precious to me, and um, has really been a huge gift from how I received it, the ways that I was able to use it. Um, you know, I got it on a straight trade for an electric drum set. And um, the only issue with it is that I have a pretty bad back problem. And um, dealing with this rack and the configuration is pretty difficult, not gonna lie. Um, getting everything into the spots that I want and uh, dealing with the rack is just a little bit of a headache. So, well, I shouldn't say a little bit. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know I'm not a giant fan of the rack. But um, it has been cool to go back to a rack after, you know, um, working with those when I was younger, starting, you know, playing with those on bigger kits and on friends' kits and students' kits and all of that. And, um, sorry, I'm trying to think at the same time I'm breaking it down, but it's been, uh, kind of, uh, such a cool gift for me because I know I'm going to be able to today upgrade with it and being able to upgrade with it means that I can now get a new kit worth the same value or worth more and just pay the difference. So, I'm pretty excited because I have never owned a brand new intermediate or pro kit. And um, I'm much more about the sound dynamics and it being easy to get around the kit and still pull out the same things, you know, and say what you want to say through your instrument. Um, in the same way so it's uh really to be able to have one more rack or one one more tom you know this 10 inch tom um uh, i've had to go with these bars and trying to get all my cymbals you know every drummer has their particular taste right and everything is like if it's not comfortable for your muscle memory and your motion um you start to get frustrated with your instrument you know it's like and if you play it on a lot of different kits, you, you get what I mean. Um, or a lot of different, in any instrument, you know. You get the feel of the instrument. And uh, completely different. So, um, it's really, well, and so here's this uh, pork pie. Uh, I might be trading this in as well. Um, this has been my baby for quite a while. Um, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of it. But uh, it's uh, at least in the arsenal. Depends on what they have there. I'm looking at getting a brass snare. So, um, anyway, back to my point of being able to just kind of go through the journey with this kit and the evolution and, you know, learning different things and going back to a rack after not being with the rack for many years. And uh, it's just kind of reminded me why I need to uh, go back to a more comfortable setup. So, um, thank you to the person who gave me this kit. If you watch this video, you know who you are. Uh, love you very much. Appreciate you so much for that. I hope you've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of that electric kit. And um, today I'm going to be able to use this to basically get brand new dream kit. And um, I've been just holding off and planning and planning and planning and pricing. You know, it's, it's like, it's, a, it's an investment, especially if you're very passionate about it, you know. So um, thank you to my friends out there who have helped me. Um, go through the process in my head too um you know i'm a thinker so it's it really takes me um you know and these are nice shells these are nice drums it's original pearl masters custom 90s edition too so the 90s are a little bit harder to find they have the re-rings and uh, it's before they changed the um plies on them i think they went to eight ply from six ply or from six to eight i forget how the how the reversal went but they went from basically pearl, um, masters, custom, all maple shell to then like MM, 
uh, X's and MMC's. Uh, this is the MMC, I believe. Anyway, these have been cool drums. Great shells. Uh, you know, if I had a little bit easier of access and um, I wasn't looking for a little bit of a different timbre in my drums, then I wouldn't be even thinking about doing this, what I'm doing right now. Um, but just for sake of ease of use, for the sake of going back to a little bit more comfortable configuration and being able to now, after you've trained your muscle memory to do all these things, um, be able to say the same thing, say the same things, but through a more limited instrument, or not limited instrument, I shouldn't put it that way, a more limited setup. So um, the limited setup is going to force you to be more creative, right? So there's another saying in the drum world, it's not, it's not these heads that matter, it's, the, it's not the drum heads that matter, it's the drummer's head that matters, and that's a quote. Um, but yeah, it's basically, it's not the drum head that matters, it's, it's the drummer's head that matters. <laughs> I like that one. So, thank you to uh, Brian Corey out there. Thank you to Eric. Thank you to Spiro. Thank you to all of you so much for um, what you've helped me kind of go through in the process of my head. Figuring this out, and literally today is the day. So, here we go, boys. Figured I'd do a little video and take everyone along the journey and um, kind of get to see what this place is like. This place is amazing. It's it's called Drum Flip. Uh, if you look up Drum Flip in Vista, California, um, it's pretty amazing. So saying goodbye to the kit at the same time uh, is getting the new one. All right, guys. Everybody have a wonderful day. I will post this video and I will see you on the next one. Just wanted to say goodbye to this kit and kind of break it down as I'm going and uh, talking to you guys. So uh, here we go. Where It's time to get the SKB hard shell cases out and pack this thing up in the truck. Love you guys. Happy drumming. See you on the next one.